Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. We have to represent the position vector OP equals 2, negative 3, and 4 using a rectangular prism and we have to label the coordinates of every corner. Now, as you know, graphing these uh, 3D vectors can sometimes be a pain in the ass. So I'm going to try to go through fairly quickly, but still in as much detail as possible. So this here is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, this is the z-axis. So I went over an example like this, or how to draw 3D vectors in the lecture videos. I'd highly recommend you watch that video if you haven't. Just because I go through a lot more detail, I go through it slower, so it might sink in a little better. But when I get a vector like this, first thing I like to do is I like to plot the points on the axes. So notice that the x value is 2. So we know an x value of 2, let's say it's over here. So this is like 2, 0, and 0. And then the y value is negative 3. Well, this here represents the positive y value. So since this y value is negative, you want to extend that y-axis into the negative region. Now, I always only extend these axes if I have to. So notice this is the positive portion of the z-axis, this is the positive portion of the x, positive portion of the y. So the z-axis, or the z-coordinate in this case is 4, it's going to be positive, so we're only going to need this. The x-coordinate is positive, we're only going to need that. Because the y coordinate is negative, we're going to need this. But notice how I'm not going to extend the x or z axis if I don't need to, just because there's going to be a lot more going on if I do. And the less you could put in these diagrams, the better. So a y value of negative 3 would be maybe somewhere here. So let's label this. This is like uh, 0, negative 3, and 0. And then the z-coordinate is 4, so that would be like up here. And that would be 0, 0, and 4. So the z-intercept, x-intercept, the y-intercept. Now, to draw this rectangular prism for this vector, what I like to do is I first like to join the x and y-coordinates first in the x and y-plane. So forget about z, z is just 0. We're going to deal with this x and y plane first. So if the coordinates are like this, what I like to do is I like to draw a line from this point that is parallel to this x-axis. So maybe something like that. And then I like to draw a line from this point that's parallel to the y-axis. So something like this. Right? And so the meeting point right there of both of those lines is going to be one of the corners for this rectangular prism. So this line here parallel to the x-axis, this line here parallel to the y-axis, the meeting point is going to be a corner for that rectangular prism. And what's the coordinates of this point going to be? Well, notice that we join the x and the y, so we know the x value is going to be 2, y value is going to be negative 3, z value is still 0. We're still in that x and y plane. So now what I like to do is I like to take all of these points and I like to shift them up to a z value of 4. So we're going to have to shift it up to this point here. Well, notice how we have three corners of the rectangular prism for the base. Well, what is the fourth corner going to be? It's going to be the origin because a position vector, OP, this O here means that the tail of the vector is going to be at the origin and then the head of the vector is going to be at this point. So notice that if we shift all four of these points up to a Z value of four, notice this origin, we shifted it up to here. Well, notice that this point is always going to be parallel to this point. So that means we can shift this point up to here as well, right directly across 
from that point 0, 0, and 4. Because this point, this point are parallel, we shifted this point up here. Well, that means this point and this point are still parallel. We shifted this point up there. Okay, and now notice that if we shift these points up, this point and this point, they're sort of below these two points. So we can shift these points up as well, but just below. Same thing here, shift this up, but again, it's gonna be below those two other points. And now, this point and this point connect, so this point and this point will connect. Uh, let's actually put a dotted line there. This point and this point connect here and here, that's this connection, like that. Right, so notice now that we got this, oh, and I forgot this over here. Right, so notice now that we got this rectangular prism in the positive X region, positive Z region, and the negative Y region. So notice that we have the coordinates for all four points on the base. Well, what are these three coordinates gonna be? We already have this coordinate. What about these three coordinates? Well, notice we're taking this coordinate, shifting it up here, and when we shift it up, the Z value is gonna become four. So this point here is gonna be two, negative three, and four. This point here, it's going from zero, negative three, and zero. We're shifting it up by four, so that Z value is gonna change. So the X value is still gonna be zero, Y value is gonna be negative three, Z value is gonna be four. So this point here, it's still on the uh, YZ plane, right? The furthest plane away. So that X value is still going to be zero. And then this point here, two, zero, and zero, we shifted it up on the Z axis by four. So it's gonna be two, zero, and four. So this point is two, zero, and four. So this point here, it's on the XZ plane. So that Y value is still zero. So we have this rectangular prism and notice that every corner now has a coordinate. So now we can draw the vector. The vector has its tail at the origin and it's going to have its head at this coordinate here, two, negative three, and four. So if we join these, the vector looks something like that. It's going like through the prism. So it's going from that furthest point on the base to that closest point to us, or to me, where I'm standing right now, on the top face. So it's sort of going through that prism. And that's how you represent that vector using a rectangular prism.